breaking, Obama DID spy on President Trump and his staff, as unmasking scandal grouse. The Obama administration orchestrated a far-reaching, and possibly illegal, spy campaign on President-elect Trump and his team. That is the conclusion many are making after the newest revelation that former United Nations Ambassador Susan Power sought to expose the names of hundreds of Americans included in intelligence reports. The power revelation is only the latest example of the Obama White House seeking to use government resources to find dirt on their political enemies. Former Obama National Security Advisor Susan Rice also unmasked the names of individuals, likely Trump allies, in an effort to link them to the Russian collusion scandal. To date, no evidence of illegality by President Trump or his staff has been uncovered. Even with all of the revelations, most media outlets have failed to make the obvious connection, that these unmasking efforts were part of a coordinated effort by the Obama administration to undermine the incoming Trump administration. Only former CBS reporter Cheryl Atkerson is connecting the dots, but she has good reason to. She learned that the Obama administration was spying on her as well, including hacking her computer and recording her audio and keystrokes. Perhaps most troubling is that the spying effort, under the guide of intelligence surveillance, was done so knowing that Trump himself would also be spied on, as he communicated with his supporters and staff who were being tapped. The recent revelation that Paul Manafort was tapped at Trump Tower at least partially validates President Trump's assertion that Obama intended to spy on him, if only indirectly. We do know that the president was correct when he said Trump Tower was tapped, an assertion that was ridiculed months ago by members of the press. According to Fox News, Ambassador Power made over 260 requests to unmask the names of Americans picked up on surveillance by United States intelligence agencies. It is highly unusual for Power to do this, as previous ambassadors routinely only unmask a few dozen names during their tenure. Power unmasked hundreds of names, just in her final year as ambassador. It's not only outrageous, it's illegal. J. Sekulow of the American Center for Law and Justice, and President Trump's attorney, told Sean Hannity on Fox News Thursday night about the Obama spying effort. The Daily Wire outlines how the unmasking scandal by power plays into a much larger effort by the Obama administration to use the intelligence community against the incoming Trump administration. The report indicated the reason that Congress is especially interested in Power's role in unmasking Trump officials is due to a July 27 letter sent from House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes to Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats. In the letter, Nunes said the committee learned that one official, whose position had no apparent intelligence-related function, made hundreds of unmasking requests during the final year of the Obama administration. Fox News added that Power is believed to be the official that the letter was referring to and that although previous UN ambassadors have made unmasking requests, the number is usually in the low double digits. Power is just the latest Obama official caught up in the unmasking scandal, as former National Security Advisor Susan Rice was recently caught lying about the unmasking of Trump officials. While it is not necessarily a crime to unmask U.S. citizens in foreign intelligence surveillance, it is illegal to release their names, something that happened when a person with access to the information leaked former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn's name to The Washington Post.